Jesus Christ. To all the family here, when I say family here, I'm not talking about this family in front of me, I'm talking about everyone in this house. Amen. 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 And then too, as we say, the descendants and the family. Uh, you say, my dear, Marguerite Young. I say this because God is good. But not only is He good, He placed me in a position where He said, God is God. Yes, man. God is God all the time. Yes, man. Showed me this in the Word one time. He said, well, you know, the old family in Israel didn't know a word to describe God. And so they didn't want to say God because it was so holy. So they came up with the word good. But knowing who He is and having Him as your Father, as your God, there's nothing else like it. You know God is wonderful in the fact that He always confirms things for His servants. And understand this Sister Marguerite and Medea is close to me too. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. We say first cousin, but we grew up right next door to each other. Deacon Young is also Amen. Uncle Horace. Amen. Amen. And so when can't preach a child's funeral because she's already preached it. All right. All right. But you sure enough can give a recognition and a and a show of all the wonderful things that child has done mm-hmm. in honor of that child. Yes, sir. And so I was sitting with the deacon. Deacon made a statement. He said, well, man said she wouldn't be with us long. And he showed us that God knew better. He stayed here almost three or four years longer than what man said. Mm-hmm. But you notice that three is Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Say, well, you had to keep her there for a while because as you said today, it was preparing a place for her. Mm-hmm. But the deacon made a statement, and you know that's how God works. You say, well, what is going to be the message? Well, he made that statement. The Holy Ghost spoke to him to speak to me. Mm-hmm. He said, you know, the Lord said he had a place for her. He looked in his garden. Yes. And he said he couldn't just put her anywhere. Come on, Lord. Lord no. He had to have a special place to put her. All right. And so he had to take that time out to prepare that place. And so we want to turn to the Song of Solomon. That's where we're going. I know a lot of times, well, I fought a good fight. Yeah, she's done all of that. Kept the faith. She's done that. Well done. She's done all of that. But. Is a representation of what the deacon said. Of why God had to come down to his garden. Uh, Confirmation Reverend Bird got ready to touch on it. When he talked about the rose. Well, we go into the Song of Solomon. Amen. Amen. Chapter 2. Verses 1 through 4. We got a newer version that might say the song of songs. Well, that's what we're getting ready to do, deal with the songs. Uh-huh. Brother Taylor and all the others have sung a song. Uh-huh. Well, we're about to sing a song about the song. Amen? All right, all right. Solomon, Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, reads as follows. I am the rose of Sharon. And the lily of the valleys, as the lily among thorns, so is my love among the daughters. As the apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with great delight. 
and his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. Right, right. Vegan, when you made that statement, mm. when you made that statement, through the Holy Ghost speaking, this is what the Spirit said to me. There's a lily in the valley. All right. There's a lily in the valley. In the valley. Mm-hmm. No, when we look at this book, it talks about a loving relationship between the bride and her bridegroom. Some of the scholars point to the fact that it talks about Solomon and the Shulamite. And the love that they have for one another. Yes, yes. But today it presents a portrait of a uniquely divine relationship mm-hmm. between the lily of the valleys mm-hmm. and the lily in the valley. All right, all right. In this song, the rose is referred to first. But throughout this song, the lily. Is reminisced on frequently. In this sentimental song, a spotlight shines on the lily. On eight separate occasions, the lily is used to display the presence of a deep and sincere attraction and passion. If you ask to describe the differences between the rose and the lily, we could say that a rose is refreshing, but a lily is lifting. Right. A rose is outstanding, mm-hmm. but a lily is inspiring. A rose is stimulating, but a lily is lavish. A rose is endearing, but a lily is yielding. Yet what is it about the lily that so captures the attention? Why did God, why did Jesus Christ play special attention on the lily? Come on. Understand, when you look and study the nature and characteristics of a lily, it says it's a very unique plant. It has special qualities that make it stand out from all the flowers in the field. Scripture says it's a small, white, bell-shaped flower with a strong, heavenly fragrance. Pastor Bird told you how we used to go and play in the yard. Uh, no reader had that special tangerine tree. He said it was Sister Ma, but that was Rita's tree because she planted it on that side. <laughs> and she told us, don't mess with my tree. <laughs> but we had ways to get into the tree anyway. All right. And Peanut knows we had a little small football, remember? It had a crack in it so we can open that football up. Y'all didn't know this, did <laughs> And what we say, uh, do a down and out <laughs> toward the tree. All right. And we do a down and out and we throw it into the tree and peanut or bird or whatever, take that orange and put it inside the football. And see, you never knew it was getting back because you would throw a football back and the fruit was in it. <laughs> you never knew we were eating the oranges from the tree because we would take the peel from the tree and we... Peanut go long, he would go toward the field. I see Darren, there ain't nobody to go toward the field. He'd go in the cane field. No one he can catch it, act like he couldn't catch it. He'd drop it when he went in the field. He emptied the peelings out in the field and he'd throw it back to the side. You didn't know that, bitch. But when we look at this whole thing about small, white, bell shaped flower, it took me back to when I was getting ready to go to Chamberlain and my daddy and my mama told me, say, well, don't worry, but when you get there, you can have some folks there with you. Mm-hmm. And I never understood what he meant, so I walked around school. I didn't see nobody. I knew, I knew my sister was there, but I didn't know nobody. But when I walked in the cafeteria, guess who I saw when I got first in the line? <laughs> Back then, they wore white dresses, remember? All right. yeah. And they had the headset, so your white bell said, the first person I saw... Sister Marguerite. So at that point, I was all right. I knew everything was going to be okay. But when we talk about the fragrance and the strong heavenly fragrance, 
And being boys, we're going to take you back. You know where I'm getting ready to go with this. We knew that it was something about it because the bread that they were cooking that cafeteria. Come on, man. You can't buy this in the store. And see what they talked about in the, in having to have a book with recipes. Sister Marguerite cooked this from scratch. Wasn't like the cafeteria today. They go somewhere and they buy it from the warehouse. They cook this with their hands. And it was something about that bread when you ate it. It was just so sweet and buttery. It would melt in your mouth. You'd eat the bread and you didn't want to eat anything else. But we knew in the summertime there would be times when some of the kids were in summer school and she would come home and we would say, Peanut, when Miss Marguerite coming home? They said, well, she should be back at about 12. And as soon as she pulled up, didn't have to get out the car. She knew what we wanted. We could smell. <laughs> the bread that she had. And she would say, just hold on. Let me get in the house. Fragrance. Aroma. Just something about her that would appeal, that would draw your attention. Lily. The other thing it says about a lily, it performs well. In any type of soil, it mixes very well with most garden flowers. And, and, and remember I said, they were in the cafeteria, understand, there were all flowers in that cafeteria. Uh, I'm looking at one of them right now. And you understand, uh, the lily, even though in the midst of all the flowers, stands out from the rest of the flowers. Y'all were all beautiful flowers, but it was something about that lily that stood out. Then it says this about the lily. It says the lily is hardy. Understand, I didn't say hard, I said hardy. H A R D Y. That means capable of enduring difficult conditions. Yes. It says it's a plant that is able to survive outside during the winter. No matter what comes up against the lily, the lily still stands up and survives. Yeah, yeah. See, the rose is beautiful, but cold weather hit a rose. The petals start to fall off. But the lily can stand up. And, and you look at this. In the midst of trying times, stormy situations, this is the lily's motto. It says, I feel... Like going on. Yes, sir. When the wind starts blowing and start saying, Well, are you tired yet? No, I feel like going on. Yes, when things start to attack you and come in the midst of you, are you ready to give up yet? No, I feel like going on. Right. What did you say, Brenda? That she told your man never quit? That's just another way of saying, I feel. Like going on. And understand in the midst of everything when the devil comes, because I'm going to tell you, family, the devil going to come at you. He's going to come at you hard. Know why he's going to come at you? Because he's a slide. No good. That slide. Good for nothing. Something. Amen. When you're down and when he thinks you're weak, when you can't defend for yourself, he said, well, uh, the strength of your family gone now. Who's going to hold you together? I can get you now. But see, the lily said, when the devil comes at you and throws everything he has at you, and he said, well, are you ready to give up now? I feel like going on. That's why the Lord gave her the determination that he gave her. When she would testify, why would she say, Deacon, I'm going to run home to see what the end is going to be? Yes, sir. Hardy. Then it says, the lily is a shade-loving plant. Mm -hmm. now, 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 notice that. It's hardy. It can stand anything. Yes. But yet, it wants to be in the shade. Mm. It would rather be in the shade. In other words, it loves to abide in a sheltered place. Come on now. What did the Bible say? God said, I'll be the shade on your right hand. Yes, sir. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Amen. When I think about the shade, I think about as a little boy. Whenever I would go and 
knock on the screen door. They used to have screen doors back then. Uh-huh. And you would look in the screen door, and guess where this lily would be? The lily would be sitting uh, with the garden master. I'm talking about the deacon now. They'd be at the table sipping on the coffee, mm-hmm. reading the paper, yes, sir. eating some donuts, yeah. enjoying the shade. Yeah, mm-hmm. Understand at early age that Lily understood she needed shade, so she said, well, where's the best shade I can get? Jesus. All right. on, it's the best shade oh, yeah. that I can have. Yes, sir. Shade-loving plant. The Bible speaks of the Lily. Three ways. It says it's a support beam for God's building. Then it says it's a sign of blessing for the born again. Yes. Yeah. Then it says it's the scene of beauty for the believer. Yeah. All right. Where did you get this from? Well, according to 1 Kings 7, 19 and 22, it says the tops of the pillars of the porch of the temple that Solomon built for God. Mm-hmm. Was shaped like lilies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Mm. God saw something in the lily that He decided to put it on the pillar that holds up His building, His support structure, and He designed it like a lily. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In Hosea 14 and 5, God declared that there's a blessing for those who turn from sin. Come on now. And turn to him. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is what he said. He says, they will bloom like a lily. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. When you become a child of God, he places that lily quality in you. Yes, Lord. Yes, so that when the things come and the storms and the winds and the breeze come, you are able to say, that's not going to stop me. I'm still going to press on. Yes, yes, sir. I'm strong enough to give love and to support, not just to my family, but to everybody who needs. Yes, 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 when Jesus made reference to the lily, uh, remember before he made the statement, he was talking about how we worry. What's tomorrow going to bring? Right. Yeah. What's going to happen tonight? Yes, Am I going to be able to eat tomorrow? Is there going to be food on my table? Well, I have clothes on my back. What's going to happen? Who's going to shelter me from the storm? Jesus made this statement. He said, not even Solomon. In all his magnificence, his, his excellence, his dignity, his great was arrayed great. like one of these. And he said... If God takes care of the lily, yes, All right, now. He's sure enough going to take care of you. Because once you become His child, guess what you are? Guess who you are, lily? Yeah. Yeah. The reason why she survived the way she did for 82 years and did all the things she did. Come on, dog. All right. God was taking care of His lily. Yeah. Yeah. What we and our sister have experience. It's the fulfillment of divine marriage vows. Yes, yes, sir. Between the lily of the valley and his lily in the valley. Yes, sir. Come on now. Somebody might say, well, preacher, what vows are you talking about? Well, is it the part that says they will live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Uh, that's not it. Here's it the part that says to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, oh, to love and to cherish going, till on. death do separate us. Come on now. Uh, that's not it. All right. Come on. The vows that we're talking about is the part in the Song of Solomon when he Go to chapter 6 and, and verse 2. He said, he said, My beloved has gone down to his God yeah. in the bed of spices to feed in the gardens and to gather lilies. Yeah. Then in John 14, 2 and 3, you read it. It says, He said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That where I am, right now. 
you may be also. So so you got to understand something. The run that Marguerite was talking about, when she said, we're going to see what the end's going to be, it wasn't about whether I'm going to die or I'm going to live, what's going to happen to me in a physical sense. Mm -hmm. She was talking about something when Jesus said, be faithful unto death. When he said, Lord, I'll be with you even unto. No, 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 no. Notice he didn't say, thank you, Holy Until. Unto is a point where you don't stop. Unto means you go beyond. That means when you get ready to go beyond this earthly passage, when you're ready to come into the eternal passage, I'll be with you. When I come back to take my lily with me, my lily's going to go to the place that I have. Prepare. So as we leave, one day, someone who had an in the valley experience yeah. mm-hmm. came back and went to witness and said, I went to the valley. Come on now. Yeah. I hear you. I didn't go there to stay. All right. All right. All right. All right. But my soul got happy. My Lord, my Lord. And I stayed all day. Somebody asked this person, they said, well, why did you go to the valley? Uh Their response was this, they said, I heard that in the valley, the flowers will be blooming and the grass will be green. And the skies will be clear and serene. The sun ever shines, giving one endless beam and no clouds there will ever be seen. Yes. In this valley, mm-hmm. they say the bear will be gentle. Yes. The wolf will be tame. Yes. And the lion will lay down by the lamb. And the host from the wild will be to lead them. Mm-hmm. Will be a child. Yes. But the thing is that drew me to this valley said, In this valley, Come on. it says, I'll be changed. From the creature I am. Somebody said, well, uh, that sounds good, but what is it in the valley that caused you to get so happy that you would stay all day? That person said, well, in this valley, there are no headaches or heartaches or misunderstandings. No confusion. Mm-hmm. No troubles won't be. Yes, sir. Yeah. No frowns to defile. Yeah. Just a big English smile. My Lord. That's it. No more sorrow and sadness or trouble will be. There's peace yes. and contentment yeah. in this valley. Yeah. Just for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Says that the morning is bright eh? and the lamb is the light and, and the night is as fast as the day. Yeah. In this valley, I found joy. Come on. In this valley, I found love. In yeah. this valley, yeah. I found peace. Yes, yeah. sir. In this valley, I found healing. I don't have to worry about I'm valley no more. Yeah. Right. Finally, somebody said, well, all oh, that sounds good. Mm-hmm. We know you said why you wanted to go to the valley and what was in the valley, but... Anybody knows when you're dealing with the bride and the bridegroom, yeah. and there's an affection relationship, it got to be somebody's somebody. Yeah. It's a who that's in that vet. Yeah. Who is in that vet? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, come on. Uh, when a young man drive a distance, come on, now. and it wasn't in Winterville, he didn't stay right in Winterville, even though Deacon stayed pretty close home. Mm. Uh, but when he was leaving home and grandmother was saying, Hard's where you're going, Hard knew where he was going. That was, wasn't just why he was going to where he was going or what he was going, but that was who yeah. was over in the valley. Yeah. So in every situation, everything that we do, there's always a who. For the lady, there's a who. For the man, there's a who. But there's a who. Come on, yeah. Come on. When they spoke down, they said this to the other person. They said, well... 
I sat down in his shade with a great delight. And his fruit was sweet to my taste. He brought me to the banqueting house. And his banner over me was love. Think about it. Here it is. The one that had managed the food had fed so many. When we were hungry, she was our bread. When we were thirsty, she was our water. When we needed strength and cover, she was the strength and cover. But now, uh, the lily other banners that decided to tell the lily in the valley, look, I've laid out a special meal for you. Come on into your banqueting house. And over in that special place, where she was coming, said, well, how will I know where my place is? You'll see a banner that says, L O V. Then she said, He saved my soul. He made me whole. He put clapping in my hand. Put a song in my heart. He he gave me a determination to run on and see what the end is going to be. Say, He's my help. He's my hope. He's my home, even though I love Winterville. Yes. I loved the home where my, my family was. I loved where my family would take me. Even when the hurricane started, it was blowing me away. He still gave me a home, but there's a better home. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's my rose of share. Yes. He is my lily of the valley. Uh-huh. My Jesus. Yeah. My Jesus uh-huh. is the lily. And he is in the valley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So as we leave, like the songwriter said, there's a lily in the valley. This is bright as a morning star. Uh But in this case, let me take some liberty to change one of them words in that song. There's a lily in the valley. Uh And she is bright. As the morning star. Yeah. So I understand, fam, it wasn't anything that somebody was mad with you trying to take you to be sad. But God said, there's a lily Amen. in the valley. Come on, yeah. There's a lily yeah. in the valley. Yeah. And the angel said, well, what is it about the lily? She's as bright yeah. as the morning star. Oh, yeah. And so he said, it's time for me to go down into my garden and get my lily and bring my lily in front of me and say, my lily. My beautiful lily. Yeah. Yeah. My sweet lily. Uh, yeah. My pleasant lily. Yeah. My faithful lily. Yeah. There's a new valley I have for you. Yeah. In this valley, I'm there. Yes. Jesus is there. Yes. And all of the comfort. My Lord. All of the one. All of the things that I said I promised, I would have for you. Come on up, child. Come on up, child. And remember I said I saw that tailwind? The only time you see a tailwind from a jet. And when it's moving faster than the speed of sound. It's moving so fast. Yeah. That all you hear is a thunderous boom. boom. And before you know it, it's already reached its destination. Amen. There's a lily in the valley. Amen. She's as bright as a morning star. My Lord, my Lord. When you look around, I see things. You notice if you want to kind of get a glimpse of what a lily see the shape of this globe and, and you see the shape of these lights and along the walls here. Bell shape? Yeah. As a lily. Come on, yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. As a lily. Uh-huh. That's why we love that bread so much. Yeah. That's why she drew us to us the way she did. Yes, That's why she had the effect on everybody yes, that she had. Uh-huh. There was a lily in the valley yeah. called Winterville. Mm. And it was as bright yes, as a morning star. Amen. Remember that family. Lily in the valley. The lily in the valley. 
Deep, you got it right. You see, he had to make sure he had special time and take special effort to get that place ready. Because this wasn't just any lily. Come on, lily. Oh, this lily. Yeah. I'll shine the sun. Yes, Lord. This lily deserves a special place. And, and, and y'all know what it's like when you go in your garden, it's a special place. Yeah. Well, you had your flowers and your roses. Y'all know how it is when you worked the worked on rose beds, ladies. You know, men. You know, because if you touch it, oh, yeah. the lady will let you know, won't? Yeah, right. oh, yeah. And you work that ground and that soil, and you put it in with care. Yes, yes. That's what Jesus is doing. Yes. He worked the ground. He prepared the place. Come on. And when the time that came. He came down. Uh-huh. He came into his garden. And he said, my lily, my lily, yes. your place is prepared. Yes. My lily, my lily, yes. come on up a little higher. Yes, Lord. My lily, my lily, yes. I know you love the down in that valley, but I need you yes. in my valley. Amen. 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 There's a lily in the valley. She's as bright as a morning.